Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD and this is like a full-blown guide on all of the flowers. So we're gonna go and get everything. So this will complete our like task for getting 21 flowers, which might unlock these like uh, it's like a trigger to unlock the fright bulbs. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna like get everything from the leaves to the trees and what is required and what is not required uh, and how we can like get these flowers. Does it require an ultimate or is it like a normal thing? So yeah, I'm just gonna cover everything. So starting off, we're gonna go to the Blossom Bay. Here we're gonna find uh, the white flowers, uh, which is like the uh, Milk Blossom. So these ones, they don't have a butterfly on them. These are the normal ones, because there are like two types of uh, Milk Blossom. And they can be found uh, everywhere. You can use the Ulti Mallet, you can use the Normal Mallet, it doesn't matter. If you have the Ulti Mallet, it's easier for you to like just like uh, plug them in, or like, uh, you know, just like put them on the field. And the next one is the Emerald Ela, which is a green one, a uh, green flower. So both of these and the more uh, can be found all over the place. Next we have the uh, the Water Lily flower. For this one you need a uh, Ulti Mallet, and they are always in the ponds. Uh, the lily pad and the larger lily pad, they don't like count uh, as flowers, but you can like pick them up as well. Uh, next the Milk Blossom. The Milk Blossom, which is the other one, this, this is another type. This one has like flies uh, or like butterflies all over it. So you can see this one has uh, butterflies and this one does not. So there are like two types, two different types. So we need to like pick both of them up. Uh, next we have the yellow one. This is also near the ponds where you find the, the pink flower. You will find the Dufadilly or Dufadillus near them. So this is the yellow one. You can like pick it up either with the ultimate or the uh, the normal mallet. The only flower that requires the ultimate on Blossom Bay is the pink one. Next we have the blue or the blue and the pink. The pink can be found like uh, like near the end of the island, like the farther end north and the blue one can be found on these like blue or like these uh, white mountains. So they're always there either like to the sides or just just go all the way to the top and you will find them. So like I said we have like almost like uh, eight to nine flowers here. Uh, six uh, like normal flowers with the lily, the pink one which we need the ultimate for. So we have in total uh, seven flowers. The other two uh, lily pads, the small one and the large one, we don't require them. We just only require the pink one, this one here, the small one. So yeah, uh, seven are already done. Uh, we're gonna move to the Rami Reef. Uh, here we have uh, two types of flowers. And the first one is the Freesia. The Freesia is the white one here, the small one. You can actually like find this in, in Blossom Bay again. But yeah, this requires an ultimate for you to like uh, pick it up. It's always near the snowy areas. While the Scarlet uh, scarlet Tulip, the red one, you can find it on the uh, the areas or the sands which does not have any, any sand or snow on it. So near the battlefields, you'll find the other one, this uh, red flowers. It's always near the uh, these like uh, battle areas. And you'll find plenty and you'll find them everywhere. So only these two uh, we, we can like find on the uh, Rhyme Reef. The Frisia and the Scarlet Tulip. And next we're gonna go to the Laguna Perfuma. This area is like a haven for all the flower types. You will actually, as soon as you get here, you will find flowers from the Blossom Bay, you will fly, find things from the Rhyme Reef and everything. So for things that can be found on Laguna Perfuma is the rose. The rose requires an ultimate. It's on re these broken resting areas. They're quite far away from the waters. And the other one, which is the Wisteria, they also require an ultimate. So the rose and the Wisteria, both of them requires an ultimate. Uh, the rose is, is usually like inside near like far away from the water but the wisteria is like close by to the water and you will see like a bunch of them all around they can't they're not missable and they are like pinkish so they are like visible from a from like far away they're actually like three parts so we have the crown which is the top part then we have the stems the middle parts and finally the root which is like the end uh, part so yeah not missable as for the next two flowers or three flowers the black well uh, this can be found inside the water on uh, these small uh, hills uh, with a big tree and near the black dyes so the black dyes where we find the black well flower and near the purple uh, purple dyes we will find the purple lotus which is the small flower and the holy hawk which is the big flower in the middle so both of these are or like three uh, these three uh, flowers uh, they're always inside the water and the other one like the rose and the wisteria uh, the wisteria is beside the water and the rose is outside 
you don't need the leaves by the way you just need the rose you don't need the leaves I just took it just for show but yeah we have the rose we have the wisteria uh, we have the black uh, well we have the purple lotus and that big flower so these are the only items which is which are around uh, one two three four five six seven seven ish uh, on, on the Laguna Perfuma as well so we already have uh, 14 flowers already uh, moving on the sunny sand, the first thing we can find is the prickly uh, peach cactus. This requires an ultimate mallet uh, to get them, and there are a bunch, or I mean, all over the island. Uh, and the gladiolus can be found near the oasises, just like beside them near the shores or something like that. And you'll find a bunch of them. By the way, you can find the pink flowers from the other islands as well. But the main stuff are the prickly peach cactus, gladiolus, and the sunflower. And yep, and of course I found a banana as well. These guys, these guys are tough to find actually. <laughs> yeah, and again, I'm gonna like, uh, like I said, the sunflowers even with like the gladiolus can be found uh, near these uh, oasises. So we only have uh, three items here on this island, and only one of them requires the the ultimate, which is the cactus there, and that's it. Bo all of them are simple to get. Uh, moving on the defiled isle, here we have. Uh, Two items so already we have 16 uh, sorry 17 already and we're gonna find 19 here so like I mean so two more so we're gonna have 19 the first one is the tingle weed these guys are always over these uh, white uh, mountains so always just go on the top and you will find them and the uh, Poncidia which are these uh, big flowers which looks like the gloom from Pokemon uh, these are always near the poison swamps so they are sometimes rare but uh, I mean, uh, this time I found a bunch all, all around me. So yeah, the only two types here. So we had like 14 already, three more from there, 17, and now these two we have 19 already in total, and the tingleweed and the uh, poncidia. These two only on the defiled isle. Uh, on the unholy helm or the unholy uh, uh, holm, we have another uh, two flowers. The flowers on Unholy Holm are on these uh, floating uh, big rocks or a bunch of rocks. So we have the small ones and the big ones. The flowers are on the big ones with the roots and everything else. And we just need the blooming poxlov, which is the big uh, flower, uh, and the small one, which is the uh, potting uh, poxlov. It took me a while to get here because I was like going around the island to find them. Sometimes they are easy to find, but sometimes they are like hard. Uh, I've been like going around and around. Uh, to find them but yeah we only have uh, these two and we will have our 21 flowers to take on the island but this is not it they are actually like a bunch more there is not a bunch more actually two more so the first flower is uh, which is not required which is not part of the 21 is the Harwangi I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly you will find this guy or this flower early on in the game when you come here because this is like one of the first islands that you will visit so you'll see this uh, uh, smooth flower and yeah this is not required the next item is on the blossom bay it's actually uh, it's not a flower it's the tree the sakura tree the cherry blossom tree and they are sometimes rare to find but if you have the camera then it will, it will be easier for you to like get them and of course use the ultimate so in total we have all of them we have uh, the the these items here from the uh, blossom bay these items here from the sunny sands and the three items or then this we have from the Rhyme Reef uh, two items we have seven items from the Laguna Perfuma and then we have two items uh, from the Unholy Holm then two items from the uh, Defile Island. of course if you move over the Tingle Weed you get paralyzed by the way and finally the two items the two final items uh, the Haranga and the Blossom Bay which would mean the Cherry Blossom Tree so those two are not required so yeah, these these are these are all of the items, yeah, guys. Uh, and I, if you like, uh, complete all of them or bring all of them here, I think some people say they will trigger the the fright pulp. So just bring all of them here on the island, uh, at least once. So just like put them somewhere uh, beautiful. Or some just create a farm like a flower farm, and you should be good. And yeah, guys, that's it. That's uh, everything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check our Patreon page. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thanks for the feedbacks, guys. I know, I mean, I don't have a script, but this is what we do, right? And guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.